thicker than water, but I'm stronger than iron. She has to be right there ahead. But there's no other way out. You could. I wasn't really asking for your opinion. See that chest? I be lost about you. I know. Um, I was talking about. Let told you about them? I may 
have stumbled on my way once or twice, but... I, I always do what's right. It's not. Who are you? Okay, I've had enough. You can go snatch boiled brats or yap around this place. Whatever. We are leaving, and you are not stopping us. Bone of my bone. We tried. Didn't work. Gotta run. Um, I said run! Come on, move it. Crystal arrow, quick. More crystals. The idol on the other side. That was close. How did we get there anyway? The hut is fighting back. Don't sweat it. I won't let it happen anymore. Baba, she seems to be looking for some kids. And not just any kids. Her baby girls? You're thinking what I'm thinking? I do. And can't say I like this one bit. Anyway, you can't keep on getting us in trouble like that every time you try to speak up. Me? You couldn't spit out a word. Right. Every time you try to speak up. Ugh. So much running around after the cat. Just to get home. How about simply ask him for directions? Mm-hmm. I'm dying to see it. <clears throat> Greetings, my dear hairball puking furry teleporter kitty cat. Sure, cataportation works just fine, but this time we've got something to prove here. Now. You will tell us the way to the Trail of Crumbs. Please. Mm-hmm. Right. He's sure going to answer. Well... Just continue down the path. Past the old... I knew it! I knew... <coughs> I knew he could speak. <clears throat> Do you mind? Past the old burial ground. Then, look for the trail among the trees. You might be able to find it there, but then again, you might not. It can go either way, obviously. Personally, I'd have a bowl of milk instead. That's helpful. <clears throat> Piece of cake. What the? That's... That doesn't count! You and the cat must... I mean... This would go totally different if it was anyone else. Maybe. Maybe not. Besides... Princess... What have I got you for? <laughs> uh, but I told you he could speak. Meow. <sighs> Maybe it's better not to give it much thought.
May your hand be just, but your shears patient. happened here.
It feels good to help you, little one. It looks like it wants the fruit. <clears throat> Miss, I... I can't do this anymore. I'm too shaky to rest and too tired to work. I feel like I'm running on fumes here. If only, if only someone had a certain potion that sharpens one's senses. <clears throat> it's not the first time I hear you're being overworked, Mr. Lava. Are you sure this lifestyle's healthy for you? Healthy? Oh, don't you worry about that, miss. I'm a larva, and that's just a passion form. My well-being doesn't matter in the big picture. But anyway... It may take a while to get that, Mr. Lava. I know, I know. <coughs> it always does, doesn't it? The sparks blow them away. There goes the trail, leading us to... Your sister? Oh, did I mention looking for her does you good? Taking a nice stroll, aren't we, Mr. Bug? What's the matter? Going through a rough patch, two of you? Hmm. Oh, get off me.
No surprise here, really. He had it coming for so long, didn't he? She's here for you, Volko. An unwanted memory. Just one. My mask! I've to get it back. Back in the game. 
As autumn nights lengthen, the forefathers' eve preparations begin. Great feasts for the late ancestors are held to buy their favor or consult their wisdom. But conjuring the dead is never a walk in the park, nor in the woods for that matter. Some spirits may just overstay our welcome. The young would build fires at the crossroads, so the lost souls may know the way towards households eager to host them. Be careful. Baba will return if you misbehave. <laughs> the all is in a group. Volko dared to jest. Ugh, give us a break, Volko. No one has seen the witch in years. Interrupted Zora. Who asked you, shit brain? <laughs> A funny choice of words for someone whose job is scraping shit from the cesspits. A funny choice of words for a waif, ditched by her own mother. <laughs> she must have kicked you out as soon as she saw that vile mark on your mute sister's dumb face. Oh, stop picking on her, Volko. Said Dragoy, trying to stand up for Yaga. That's what friends are for. Right, Dragoy? What did you just say, schoolboy? And just as the talk was about to reach its boiling point, it ceased uh, abruptly. Just let me... Uh, no, not the red riding, not the beauty, not the beast either. Uh, oh yes, that's why it ceased. Curiosity's prowess in killing cats is highly overestimated, but it did kill its share of nosy children. Luckily, this time, it only let some inside the hut. Relax. The witch is gone for good. My old man knows what he's saying. <laughs> As the rest were snooping around, Yaga felt an unstoppable urge to examine the strange roots. The ground trembled beneath as a drop of her blood dripped down the thorns. Ooh, it sure is forefather's eve, isn't it, girls? Ooh, maybe we'll summon your real mum's spirit. Maybe she'll tell us who she slept with. <laughs> if she even knows. As the earth shook once more, Anger boiled within Yaga. May the spirit shatter the veils of secrets tonight. Let us know a thing or two about these two ugly bastards. The rage blooming within Yaga soon bore fruit to her inner strength to stand up to the oppressor. As the girl raised her clenched fist, everyone's eyes went on her skin. Can you see it? Let me just... Oh, crap. There. Now you see. Uh, what have you got there, weirdo? Meanwhile, the hut has awoken to its fullest. All that was left was to flee. She ran and ran. So I'll skip that. Oh, that's surprising. Not so fast, freak. <laughs> A little souvenir from the witch? As if you weren't cursed enough before. Now, you know what I'm going to do with you, don't you? As Yaga's story was about to come to a grim end, she heard a voice that would shadow her restlessly from then on. Isn't this the beginning of a beautiful friendship, princess? Look at you, a prey, a victim, an excuse. You've been all that. 
You've been my loudest scream and my quietest whisper. Each of my sleepless nights and brightest daydreams. My most painful moments, torments, and fears. How many tears, how many tears you spilled, trying to escape the darkness, your darkness. the road. Make a turn. It's hard to see a way out. Because you are not ready. As a matter of fact, I was pretty far from missing him. Is this... <laughs> what are you? You're not... 
You... You can't touch me! Freak! No! Get the... It's all for nothing. They're all gone. Zora, she must be... Please, no. me. It's always been me. I am the witch's eye. Probably even more than that. Give me a mask. Of course. Don't beat yourself up about it. It's not gonna help. You... I figured you out. You have? You're here to cover my real face. Oh, princess. My ugly, vile face. You're a mask to hide the face of a murderer. Help me avoid justice. Justice? No. But the truth is not far away. You're just still not ready to... Say it. Look, I... Say it! I... I can't. I don't want to. Not yet. You and your secrets. I'm not wasting any more time on them. I must keep going. I'll find her. I'm there. No new tricks, no powers from ancient gods this time. I'm almost disappointed. Getting greedy, huh? There is something. You'll see when the time is right.